Hey there, this is Matteo from Sparto Milano and today we're going to take a grand neighborhood, more precisely in via Santa Monica. In order to show you, I share the power with two bedrooms, kitchen, living room, bathroom and two balconies, which is located on the third floor, is accessible but to the stairs and through this elevator as you can see just behind me. So let's just go ahead and let me show you around. So this is the entrance to our apartment. As we walk in, we have the living room and kitchen area with the first balcony on our right. While proceeding through this corridor, we find first of all the bathroom on the right. At the end of it, we have a closet. This bedroom on the right belongs to the landlady, which you're gonna share the apartment with. While this is our bedroom, which is going for rent with the private access to the balcony. So we just briefly begin our tour from here. This is a modern, very luminous apartment. This couch is actually your bed, so it becomes a large and comfortable double bed just by pulling this up. It's very easy and you can just fold it in into a couch to have more space during the daytime if you like. All over this wall we find several shelvings as well as a flat screen TV. Nice to have, you can enjoy it from the bed. Plenty of cupboards here on the top. They're gonna all be free so you can use that as a wardrobe and in addition to this you're gonna have access to the closet in the corridor. At the moment we find this uh, very nice uh, large wooden table with four seats but it must be replaced with a desk. Here on top of the bed we also have several more shelvings and cupboards. And as you can notice we have plenty of natural light coming in through these uh, French doors. Which are leading to our private balcony. So this is uh, reserved to the tenants. It is an exterior one so it is overlooking uh, via Santa Monica on that side. This is just a secondary street and there is a chance for street parking as you can notice. We do also have a bike rack and a motorbike parking in the porch of the building, for which we also do have a reception service. Now, as we mentioned, here in the corridor, you're gonna find a door leading to the built-in closet, which is uh, very large. There is some room for the shoes, and one of these racks is gonna be available for the tenants. So you can hang your clothes over here, and plus we're gonna get another one placed in the bedroom. Now here in the corridor we find a tall full length mirror and on the opposite end as we mentioned we have the access to the bathroom in which as we walk in we find the bathtub with the shower we do have the curtain to avoid the water to spill out behind the door we find a large washing machine and there's a rack to dry your clothes after washing as well a cupboard here on the top well, Going through the bathroom, we have this sink with its uh, mirror on the top, a little cupboard on the side, and we find both of the toilets, the washer and bidet. This little obscure window overlooking the interior courtyard, on which we're gonna have a better view from the living room. Even here in the corridor, you find several shelvings and cupboards at the bottom. And here is our living room which comes with this uh, very large flat screen TV which you can enjoy from this uh, corner couch nice and comfortable so it's nice and soft, so nice space to chill out after a long day so underneath the TV we have these uh, cupboards in which you're gonna find uh, cups, glasses as well as a nice set of cutlery so all the necessary for cooking is provided with the apartment we have this uh, little table with some shelvings on the side and two stalls, so it's good enough to have your meals, otherwise you can use the one place in your own bedroom. There's a nice ethnic uh, mirror over there, a little window just before the kitchen, on which we have of course the sink. Here on the top we have the cupboard hiding the rack to dry your, clo your place for them after washing. The gas stove with a kettle for the tea and on the top we have the fan of course. Well, at the bottom we find the oven. Here we have a large uh, cutting board. Some more room at the bottom for the utensils of the kitchen. Capsule coffee machine and yet another cupboard to store the food right up there. On this side we find a cupboard hiding the freezer and at the bottom you have the fridge as well. While well, through these uh, French doors, we access the second balcony of the apartment, which is in this case shared with the landlady. So in this case, we are overlooking the access to our residential complex. So that's where the doorman is. 
that's uh, Via Santa Monica again. Regarding the public transport, the nearest underground stop is Cagranda, belonging to line number five, the purple one. Nearby, we also have uh, the Bicocca campus with the Passante train station uh, Greco Pirelli. Nearby, as for the facilities, we have a 24 hours uh, supermarket as well as a couple of gyms, just walking distance, so it's very convenient. So, you got all the facilities, the underground line connecting you to Garibaldi, the purple line. You can also get to Garibaldi with the train line from uh, Milano Greco Pirelli. And as we mentioned, the apartment is shared with the landlady who lives in that bedroom over there. So, with this, we showed you everything. So, thanks for watching and see you next time. Ciao, ciao.